Hello and welcome to an extra special episode of the podcast. A podcast where we talk life, work, and occasionally music. My name is Switchblades for Kids, and the other half of the podcast. I'm Blake Bentley. Hello. Hello. And I know, Blake, what you're going to ask is why is, why is tonight's episode an extra special episode? Is it the 90th episode? <laughs> It's not. It's the 89th episode, which means it's 11 episodes away from oh, okay. the 100th episode. That means you, the listener and the viewer, possibly, yeah. uh, know right now you're 11 episodes away. Some would say oh. some would say 11 weeks, but some could be wrong because 11 weeks, 11 episodes. It, it doesn't matter if you, you could listen to all 11 episodes right on the 99th one. You know what I mean? You could do all that. Then in I, one day. It would be rough. <laughs> 11 <laughs> hours. <laughs> and in 11 hours, it'll be the 100th episode. If you're doing that right now, if you're listening to all of it in a row from right. now until until it's the 100th episode, well done, first of all. Uh, yeah, props, <laughs> you did it. Man, Get it like you, 11 dude. episodes in a day. Well done. That's um, right. like, I've listened to a lot of podcasts <laughs> while driving as a sales rep. Yeah. I didn't listen to 11 in a day. <laughs> 11 in a row of the same podcast in a day. Oh, that's... Okay. To the listener that is doing that right now, keep going. Don't stop. This is the start. You've got us, 10 more to go. Let us know, because that's wild. Yeah. Why? First um, of all, why? Because it's an extra special episode, anything Blake. anything better to do with your time? <laughs> very extra special. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. These people have got excellent things to do with their time. They're listening, listening to us. to us, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> Because we're um, so informative and <laughs> educational, and yeah, we have good reasons, exactly. you know, for them to. We listen. got reasons, yeah, for people to listen to us because you All know right? our uh, our views, our political views <laughs> on music. <laughs> I've got leanings. I lean one way I or the other. I listened to the wrong album this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, How you going, yeah. man? How you doing? Good. I'm sunburnt. Yeah, I, went... I can sort of see. It's not too bad. <laughs> a little bit, a little yeah. bit there, a little bit there. It's not too bad. It's, um, it, it's, uh, it's a little bit crunchy, but I still... Um, Still went and mowed the lawn nice. this afternoon. Nice. So it's not that crunchy. Let's, let's hit some heat stroke at the same time yeah. as sunburn. Yeah. Double Hell it up. Yeah. Now it wasn't um, too bad today, I don't think. It was pretty overcast, eh? Yeah, yeah. That, well, I, I hit it at the perfect time because like this huge cloud came over and I was just like... <laughs> got all on. I was nice just and running. <laughs> just yeah. absolutely running with the lawnmower. <laughs> I had the headphones on, so I don't know if the lawnmower was actually running while I yeah. was running. So, and like yeah, it's the lines fucking like a snake through the lawn. <laughs> like, look, it is what it is. This is the thing: is what I know uh, about the army is, if you've shaved and it looks like shit, you've still shaved. You've just done it <laughs> bad. Okay, you, you, no one can say you didn't shave, and you can't be charged for not shaving because you did shave. Yeah. Right? It, but hey, look, it you made just did it bad. Shitty. <laughs> Yeah. But you still did it, you know? Exactly. So I still mowed the lawn today, okay, Blake? You yeah, can't fucking fair. take that away from me. Fair. I mean, you did and better than what I did. That's what I had to tell Kim. You did better than what I did. <laughs> what did you do, man? Dude, today was first day of prep. What do you mean? First day of prep for Harper. <laughs> oh, prep? Yeah. Like school, yes. preparatory school. Yep. Nice. Oh, Very dude, cool. It was hard. Tell you what, we all. How got long up were around, you there? Uh, not too at long. At school, it was more the getting there. <laughs> was, okay, all right. Um, Start me off. Put me in. Put me in the in the mental space. I want to be there. So we woke up pretty early, like five ish, you know, to get mm. ready for school at eight uh, eight thirty nine o'clock. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a long one, so. Jackie okay. takes the dog for a walk. I'm just chilling because I always do. Every morning I'm just like yeah. struggling to live. <laughs> no matter yeah, what. Look, fair, I'm fair. like, oh, I'm not a morning me. person. No, I fucking hate waking up in the morning. I am not a morning person. I'm like, kill me now. I'm like, go fucking take a shit and make a coffee and just try and like live for like mm. the first half hour. And the kids Attempt are like, the kids are usually waking good. Up. Like Arlo just hangs mm. out. He just yeah. runs around and plays, and Harper's usually watching TV or playing on her tablet. Um, and then as soon as I got ready, so I got changed into my uniform and everything because I knew it was going to be rough. 
And then I spent the next, I'm going to say at least an hour trying to nicely get Harper to put a uniform on because I didn't want it to oh, be okay. a shit time. Um, yeah. And then the last like 10 minutes of just, no, nah, that's it, we're done. Just put your fucking uniform on, hurry up, like, just tie your hair up, all right. Hurry up! Everything was done at that point except her uniform. So yeah. I was like, put the uniform on. She got really shitty. She didn't want to wear it and fucking carried on like a pork chop as she does. Um, That'll happen. That'll you know, happen. Separation anxiety, you know. A, a separation yeah. anxiety disorder, I think, is what yeah. some therapist, play therapist lady said, but it's sad. still yet to actually, yeah, sad. Still, still yet to actually. Kids got the sad. Kids got sad. <laughs> yeah, fair kids enough. Kids got sad. Um, still yeah. yet to actually get a proper diagnosis, but at a, at a preliminary examination, it was yeah. Um, yeah, like this could be it. And I was like, okay, cool. What do we do? She's like, look, <laughs> it's gonna take a bit of time. I was like, okay, that's yeah. Um, yeah. So we got to take her to therapy and shit on Fridays, which will be fine because I don't work Fridays again after this. Oh, Friday. there you go. I'm back to not working. Anyway, this morning, um, finally get to school and it's like, you know, she's in there crying and not loving life and fucking hating everything. Teacher has to pull her off us and then we leave. By leave, I mean, we go outside for a bit, go to the office, grab some more shirts for a uniform and stuff. And as we're leaving, the principal comes down and she's like, oh, she's settling down. It's, you know, she's not too bad. It's like, thank fucking Christ. Yeah. We then went to the cafe just to chill out. I got some yeah. eggs, Benny. Um, I was like, beauty. I was just like doing emails and making phone calls from the cafe as well because I was like, I may as well consider it work. Um, yeah. A working breakfast. And then, um, yeah, I decided to go to Toowoomba for my day because that's, I, I had to, right? Okay. On the way up the range, right? So, yeah, well, look, so I'm sort of training the new girl up there. So. Oh, sort of. right. Okay. I didn't just choose yeah. to go to Toowoomba. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, man, you went a long way just to go and take so, to, take prep. <laughs> no, 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 no. She, she goes to prep near us. Um, but anyway, okay, yeah. out to Toowoomba. And as I'm going up the range, right? Yeah. Um, my car gets a bit of a wobble. It's a bit of a bo 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 And I was like, in my experience of blowing tires, and I've done this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now I've popped a lot of tires. I have. I have blown many a tire, okay, yeah. at high speeds as well. This is okay. up the range at a fairly low speed. I was like, sounds a bit like a flat. Um, I got to uh, where I was meant to go, right, the, yeah. the facility um, to train the new girl. And I was just like, I pulled over and I had a look and it was a little low. I was like, yeah, maybe, I was like, maybe it's just a bit how you go and it just needed a bit of air. Drive down to the servo, start putting air in, 32 PSI. It's like, psh, bang, just <laughs> exploded. Blew, Ooh. blew the side, a sidewall out. Shit. Yeah, 32 PSI. Um, didn't know why. I was like, that's pretty full on, but okay. Called a tow yeah. truck, waited two hours for a tow truck. Wait, you didn't have a spare? The spare's already on there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, me. Um, I should have replaced it, but I just haven't yet. Because it was just very low on my priorities list. Because the car doesn't usually leave town, right? Yeah. I'm usually yeah. like 60Ks an hour max is what mm. that car mm. gets to 99% of the time. So, um, yeah, so blown tire, two hours because it's fucking first day of school and everyone's on the roads, two hours yeah, to get a towie. Yep. Yep. Um, and then I get to the tire shop, hour and a half, waiting for them to change the tire. Just one tire, but they were packed. Um, so I spent three and a half hours sitting, waiting. Dude. I got to work at two o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon. Oh. Yeah, it's been a long day. And then I was there till like 4.30, I think like maybe quarter to five, and then came home and I basically ate dinner. Mm. Helped put the kids to sleep, had a shower, and sat down here, and I've just chilled out. And Good. It's been, it's been a long day, my friend. Um, as far as my nice. week, it's been, I think it's just been an average week. I can't remember anything crazy that happened this last week. Nice. I can't remember. What did I do on the weekend? Nothing, I think. <laughs> it's just been today that's been a hectic sort of... Yeah. I mean, we a memorable, for, oh, hectic one. Real quick. Um, Go. Went Go. to Tell the me. swimming pool on Saturday. 
Yeah. Had a great, look, a great old swim with the kids, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and then went back to grab my hat and the hat's gone. I was like, oh, that's weird. I did leave it on the side of the pool. Okay. But like, it's a fucking public pool. I left it like next to some seats by the side of the pool. Yeah. And Harper's toy. I was like, that's fucking weird. I asked Jackie, worked over, asked the guys at the front if someone handed in a hat, nothing. And then we went to sit down in some shade at this table that these dickhead kids were at, right? And um, mm. there were these like beads everywhere. And I was like, what the fuck are these beads, man? And it was from a toy that Harper had left on the side next to my hat that they had yeah. destroyed, right? So they destroyed a toy for no reason. What? Um, what the fuck? Yeah, to be fair, look, it wasn't a good toy. It was like some shitty old rubber frog that we I don't even think it was ours. I think like we found it at like Mars yeah. House or some shit. I don't know. Super old, right? Just yeah. a shitty old toy. It wasn't anything. It wasn't worth anything. But like, it was just a fun toy that Harper brought to the pool a couple of times. So she was real yeah. fucking upset when we realized what it was. Yeah. Um, and like, made me real fucking mad, right? Yeah. Go back to the car and I was like, this fucking dickhead kids, sit down. And these kids walk past. I didn't, and I actually didn't think it was them. I didn't put two and two together. But yeah. sat down and Jackie was like, that's the fucking dickhead kids. And I was like, what's well, that? That's them. She's like, yeah. This is like, <laughs> <laughs> Literally just fucking, yeah, like, I was just like, fucking undo the seatbelt. Let's go! Throughout the car, like, just walk straight through, like, the front desk and everything, past everyone, storming out there, and they, two of them turned around, saw me, and just legged it. Like, I, because I'm a six foot two, 130 kilos, like, I'm a big, yeah. angry man. Yeah. And, yeah. the, and I was just like, the one kid, man, he copped it. I feel so bad for him, too, because he wasn't the one who did it, but... He absolutely copped it because I, I was pissed, right? Like, I yeah, was fucking yeah. mad. And then this chick come over and I was just like, are these your fucking kids? And she was just like, oh, I'm I'm his support worker. It's like, oh, all right. And <laughs> <laughs> had a bit of a support go. I wasn't, look, I wasn't unreasonable. I was yeah. quite obviously angry. And I said, it. I was like, they stole a hat. They destroyed my daughter's toy. And she was like, like, she was so angry at him at first and then so apologetic yeah. to me and I was talking and I was like I don't give a fuck about the hat honestly I was like the yeah. toy I was like like you know look on my daughter's face I was like I was ready to strangle <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I was like I was fucking mad um, anyway long story short I'm wearing the hat <laughs> I got the hat back <laughs> Wait, wait, did the dude just like, the hey kid, guys, come back? No, they ran off, but they left all their bags and shit. So he just went through their bags and grabbed the hat out and gave it back to me. Dumbass. Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> but bro, I got so angry, hey. And I went back to yeah. the car, Jack. He's like, I can't believe you did that. It's like, what? I was fucking mad. It's like, that was my yeah, shit. Mean? Yeah. Like, I didn't realize that was them. At first, I thought they were just some random kids going to the pool for the first yeah, time, not and coming back until to Until it pool. clicks. Like, they're, they're just other people. Yeah. And then it, if Jackie didn't say anything, you, they would have just walked by. and just Yeah, and like, I would have just Man, been, those fucking kids. Yeah, those fucking <laughs> shithead kids broke the toy yeah. and stole my hat. Yeah. But then but she it's, was... It's yeah. really... It's on her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that was that was my week. I had an eventful today, an eventful uh, Saturday at the pool. And otherwise, I've yeah. just worked and shit. And the usual. Nice. Played a lot of Tarkov. Yeah. 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 But, well, uh, look. How, how, how's your week? That was a long fucking long-winded story. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's fun. It's exciting. I tell you it, what, it was exciting. The, the chance you get to, uh, to chase down some hooligans. <laughs> yeah, it's so some, good. It's so some good. Some little ruffians up to no good. Bro, I had to calm uh, myself down though because I like I noticed I was getting louder as I spoke. <laughs> <laughs> Just ready to so, fucking yeah, hit. Yeah, and so I'd speak for a bit and then I'd be like, and like take a breath about. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, like literally, and she could see, like, she's like, how yeah. much is the toy I'll buy? Like, I'll pay for it. And I was just like, it was worthless. <laughs> it's about, it's about five knuckles. Yeah, like, it's about five fucking knuckles. <laughs> I was like, it's, you know what it's worth? It's worth discipline. I was like, these fucking <laughs> kids, man. I got, it's worth <laughs> bending you over my knee. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth like, I'm going to throw oh, you all shit. into that fucking pool. Yeah. Fucking, I'm going to throw you over the pool. I'm going to throw you so yeah. hard you miss the pool. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, man, I got um, real mad. No, but then I I, after that's, I, I that's got the hat story. back, I left, and then I started yeah. to calm down, and I was like, that's, I'm starting to feel better. When and, when did you, like, obviously you would have got your hat back. Mm. Uh, in the process of, like, getting your hat back and just saying, 
don't fucking do it again. And yeah. then you're like, That's go, like go back to the car. When you were sitting in the car and driving back, when did you like finally go, Whew, well, that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like instantly. Like I got in the car and Jackie was just like, I can't believe you did that. She's like, are you good? I was like, oh, I'm good now. <laughs> Reversed out and off I went. Yeah. It's like, I feel yeah. pretty good now. Cause yeah, it was yeah. literally like, I was like, you do it again? And I was like, I'm going to be mad. It's like, yeah. it's like looking at the kid is like, don't do it again. And he's if like, no, 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 I won't. Find I won't. You. <laughs> like, I find you. And I was like, I literally said, I was like, this is my brand. I was like, if I saw you around the street, you would have copped it. Yeah. Like, and he's like, I, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. I was like, tell your mates that they're idiots. And then I left. Yeah. <laughs> tell your mate. You know what? Grip them up. Yeah, they're yeah, your like, mates. These are the like, people you oh, hang around I was with. Like, yeah, I was like, they yeah. got you in trouble. It's like, yeah. I was like, you were sensible enough to not run off when you saw me. Well, I was fucking angry. <laughs> well, I, I tell you what, sensible, <laughs> reckless, like, but this like maybe like, just not thinking at all and just I, going, oh man, fault or flight has told me to fucking stand still, <laughs> <laughs> freeze. No, I definitely, I, I, I believe that he didn't do anything because he didn't run. That's a good point. Because the other two ran, and he and he he was yeah. wearing his backpack, and he's like, I don't have it, man. Like he opened his backpack, he was like, nothing in there. I didn't even look. Yeah, so you're just looking at him, hat. and you're just yeah, like, "Yeah, I did not break eye it. contact with the kid." Yeah. Like, I was like, yeah. "I don't care about the hat." I was like, "I got like yeah. twenty of these at home." <laughs> I, was like, I don't care. It's and like, if you needed a backup, there's yeah, one just there. Yeah, I've got, got another one. one. <laughs> I was like, "Man, I was so fucking angry." But anyway, that's my rant right. over. Sorry, right. that's no, no, oh. it's good. It's fucking, it's funny. Fucking, I love it. Fucking hooligan children. <laughs> I wish this was well, the 80s where I could have flogged the shit out of them. <laughs> just fucking... <laughs> yeah, oh, just fucking... Oh, 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 <laughs> just steal from me again and you'll fucking yeah. cop it. <laughs> um, look, my uh, week and weekend pale in comparison to you <laughs> thwarting the uh, evil the, kids at the pool. The youth of today. <laughs> yeah, the youth. Um, I will say this, I did go up to the sunny coast to see my dad for his birthday. Nice. Um, I handed over some good presents. He loves uh, a specific football team, AFL football team. Gross, uh, but S cool. The Essendon Bombers. <laughs> I know. Look, I grew up watching AFL. I got pretty into it for a while okay. and then I stopped watching it. And, and then, then you grew you know, up. <laughs> and then I grew up. <laughs> no, it's just the thing of like, nah, I just look, don't watch not, sports. It's, yeah, I neither watch do sports. I. Neither do I. It's look, AFL's not that bad. I just don't understand it. <laughs> like, I just don't. It's my yeah. my cousin used to ref, and she used to ref like professional matches. Yeah, like she was a, a side, like an actual ref. umpire. Yeah, yeah, or whatever they are, because it's not yeah. like the same as footy. It's what well, it is footy, but it's not the same as like league. Yeah, they have like a different amount of refs. Like they have like score refs or try refs, some shit. I don't know, man. Yes, because it's like you don't make a try, you you kick a goal or so, I don't know goals and points. Yeah, I don't or, know. I, or um, I can't even remember the fucking. <laughs> I don't know. The, I don't. I can't even the, remember the, the, I don't get it. Look, I don't get it. I don't. I just yeah, don't get it. Look, oh, behind. It's called a behind. If you if you why. Score, I don't know. So if you if, you know how there's like four posts, yeah. So the the t the center post, if you kick it through the center post, that's a goal. Yeah. But if you kick it through the outer posts, that's, that's a, a behind. Is a behind worth less points? It's worth one point. And then a goal is worth if you six say, points. I was gonna say if you say one, <laughs> <laughs> goal is also one point. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, six points. Holy yeah, shit! No. Yeah, six points. Yeah, that's why like, there's some like fairly like, high scoring games. Is it like netball though? Like you can't run. You got to bounce. No, yeah, the, you can run with like, the ball. You have to. You have to what? Bounce the ball every. I think it's like fifteen meters or or something amount of steps or something like that. Yeah. You, you can also kick the ball and after I think it's after twenty meters or ten meters or something like that. If you catch it on the full. That's a mark. That means and you then can you just stop. You can, yeah, and that means there's a person can like block you from that point, so you take a step back and you kick from there, sort of shit. So yeah. weird. I don't understand it, it's, and I never it's, will. Because you know what? Quite, I'm, I'll yeah, never make the time. <laughs> I'll never make the, the time. The only right? reason I know so much about it is because I grew up watching it. Because your dad likes it. And and you know what? I I feel like I would have benefited from watching more NRL. Um, because uh, you know and it's a bit of a much of a muchness because if I watched one I would be like oh maybe I should know more about the other 
Maybe I wouldn't really. NRL, if I knew more dude, about NRL, dude, NRL, I wouldn't is, want to know more about you just, AFL. You run with ball until yeah. you get tackled five times. But this is the thing. This is what I don't get. When do you do a scrum? No, that's rugby. That's rugby not, that's not NRL. League. That's not league. Okay. That's like union. That's rugby, rugby union. league. That's rub- rugby union. Is scrums. union. Okay. Well, look, Wait, there are scrums scrum in, at all. There are scrums in league, but they just don't happen. <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> it's a waste of time, and because you don't you don't push in league. In union, you fucking push, man. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, what, you know what's funny is watching the World Cup is probably the most exciting time for mm. me mm. because I have no idea what the fuck's going on. But these are huge dudes, just, absolutely fucking yeah, plowing like through other dudes, one hundred and ten kilo fucking dudes, hitting man, running yeah. at thirty k's an hour and getting yeah. stopped by someone. Like it's yeah, yeah, like yeah. the immovable yeah. force against the unstoppable oh, object. Man. Watching like um. Uh, fucking South Africa and like Fiji and shit like that. Yeah, dude. Like some of the biggest fucking dudes. Yeah. And they're just colliding. It's it's the fuck. It's it's cool as shit out. Yeah. It's cool as shit out. It's it's like it's yeah. it's. I feel it's the same level as MMA. It's just oh, it's dudes fucking absolutely brutal. fucking each other up, and it's great. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Watching yeah. Watching oh. the World Cup. That's pro- possibly the only time I'll uh, really get excited about sport. Yeah. But I, I rarely watch it, which is which is kind of silly. I don't really watch yeah. any. I used to follow footy a little bit, but nah. Yeah. I don't have time for footy. I have Tarkov to play. Yeah. I got a lot of Tarkov to play. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's let's fucking let's keep keep on trucking on. Yeah. So um, how's 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 your dad going? He's good. That's good. Um, he's yeah, he's living up on the sunny coast. He's fucking building heaps of stuff like for his house and shit like that. He's nice. he's uh, he's got a van. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. He has a van that he bought from a guy. Uh, it's it's had two owners, right? Mm. One owner is the guy he bought it from, and the other owner was the Department of Defense. <laughs> oh, nice! Um, it's this fucking old ninety three, uh, not Hilux, High Ace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so is it camoed? It's green. Oh, it like is like army fully green. green. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, like like so olive cool. drab green. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, it's got like this fucking cool shelving inside it. It used to you used to be able to carry fucking because uh, it was for the air force, but it used to carry like small payload in it. So right. they used to carry little bombs in there, <laughs> like little bombs in that's this wild. fucking high. That's dude. absolutely wild, dude. Yeah. What the fuck are and, you um, and uh, yeah, so what it's kitted out for now is like it's just got like a side shelf sort of thing, a nice. It's really, it's really cool, really mm. cool little van. Um, Dad and the house he's living in now. There's there's like two other people living there. His missus and uh, her kid. Yeah, call it Lieutenant Van. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Right. I, can't, dude, I can't feel and, my legs. <laughs> dude, I'm not even fucking no no word of a lie. The only reason I know that is because the the fucking the little son in law yeah. came in and fucking and he's like, Hey Trev, could I borrow Lieutenant Van this weekend? <laughs> And no shit, I'm like, what the fuck is Lieutenant Van? And he's like, the the green van I got. And I'm like, oh. uh, that's, it's like just, put me on the ground. It's just euphoria. Oh. Yeah. It was like, oh. This is amazing. <laughs> perfect, the perfect joke. Oh my God, that's so yeah. good. That's, that's the best. It's actually, there's, uh, we the, can, the whole joke we can end them. the podcast. The whole joke for them has worn off. Like the whole effect for them has worn off because they've been saying it's, it for so long. It's even it better. It hit me so hard, dude. It's even better. It hit me so fucking hard. I was like, Lieutenant Van. I just lost it. Um, I love it. But yeah, I, I got the chance to drive it. It's like oh. a three liter diesel, non-turbo, but he's going to get a turbo kit for it. Um, it's just, it's a fucking little, it's a fantastic little van. It's a weapon. Um, it's a weapon. Yeah, it's a, a weapon. Yeah. It's a weapon. That's, that's, I, yeah. I, yeah, we, we're not going to get to 100 because this is the last episode of the podcast. <laughs> this is it. This we, can't, <laughs> we, we can't, we can't beat Lieutenant Van. Lieutenant like, Van. Well, um, I, yeah. I'm just going to, I'm going to stop all aspirations at this yeah. point. We can't, we can't <laughs> go any further now. Like someone's <laughs> already, wait, someone's already it. won life. So yeah. it's now, un, it's now unwinnable for, like, for me. I think it was like four thousand oh, dollars for this so ninety-three highs, and and he's like, I'm just gonna probably put 
He's already put new wheels on it. Mm. They look really fucking cool. They're like sunrises, all black. Fucking, they look cool. Nice. I don't know nice. the whole van itself. Really fucking cool van. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm and it's gonna it. run. He's he's gonna do a um, uh, uh, not a whole new engine. He's doing an engine reco on it. Yeah. Nice. Um, nice. Sleeve it. New cylinders. New oh, yeah. Ev- everything pretty much. And it's just gonna, gonna be... run forever. Exactly. And I I told him I was like, dude, it's a Toyota diesel. Yeah. From the 90s. Yeah. It will run for a million fucking Ks. It actually you, will. You've seen the fucking, the Hilux that they took on, uh, yeah, on, uh, on Top, Gear. Top Gear. Yeah. Couldn't kill they it. They couldn't fucking kill it. Unkillable. And and when Dude, it died, they, they put it they in the ocean. It. Yeah, they put it in the ocean. And then they pulled it out and they're like, yeah, it still starts. <laughs> Literally. I think it, it took a little matter. while to get it started, but they still yeah. made it run. They still got it they run. They dropped it yeah. off the top of a building and it, yeah. and it still ran. Yeah. Mind you, hard to drive. It it's still well, look, turned on. <laughs> it wouldn't. You wouldn't be sitting in it and going, oh, yeah, "I'm going to do 100 in this." <laughs> You'd be like, "I'm just going to get it to where it needs to go." I'm going to crawl this Safely. along the ground at one yeah. kilometer an hour because it'd all probably I'm... be faster if I pushed it. Yeah, yeah. but it still <laughs> but turned. It on. still turns over. Exactly, exactly. So, so yeah, I told him, "Look, Dan, this thing will fucking run for a million k's. Mm. It, it, it'll be, you'll be fine." Mm. And um, and I was telling him about my Triton. It had fucking 700,000 Ks on it. <laughs> so many Ks. 700,000 Ks That's... on my fucking 2.5 litre <laughs> fucking diesel Triton. Mitsubishi That's Triton. So many fucking I still remember that thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was great. It was a great car. And time. I only sold it because it was making this weird noise uh, in the gearbox. Wow. And then get this, me and Kai drove it to the wreckers, which was like a good couple of Ks away. And I was like, fuck it. I'm going to, if I'm already putting this in the wreckers, I'm just going to fucking floor it. Yeah. The metal sound disappeared. And I was like, <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. And <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I should just try and drive this home. <laughs> or <laughs> and just I got to the going. wreckers. I got this to the wreckers and I was like, well, if I put, if I start putting stuff on the back of the tray and attempt to drive this to fucking, uh, like to Brisbane from Darwin, right? <laughs> four and a half thousand Ks. Okay. If I try and do that in this 700,000 K engine, I would probably fucking like, it you would wouldn't die, make it, right? you wouldn't make it. No probably way. Probably wouldn't make it. No, probably prob- wouldn't make it, right? Probably not. It's done the trip from Brisbane to Albury a couple of times. That's yep. that's pretty good. But I don't think it will make it from Darwin to Brisbane. That's, so I was like, it's a lot. if I start loading up the back of the ute and I try and drive it, I'll be stranded with Kai in an I-30 just ahead of me or behind me or whatever. Mm. And I won't be able to side load all of the stuff into the I-30 no. to then fucking... God, no. So I was like, you know what? It's, it's time to depart. <laughs> the, the, the 93 Triton. 700,000k is pretty good, man. Guess how much I got for it? 500 bucks. 200 bucks. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I told him, I told I told the guy, he's like, look, man, I'll, uh, I don't know if it's even worth 50 bucks. And I was like, how about you get fucked? <laughs> All right, mate. <laughs> I told this dude, I was like, listen, this car is fucking, tra- I, I told it it traveled up here. And he's like, that's not, that's not doing any better. And it's like, it's literally only traveled up here. Then. <laughs> <laughs> from uh, from Brisbane, you know, and, and you know, it's I was like, just done return trips. Yeah, That's I was like, seven hundred thousand k. It's had a fu- I was like, it's had an engine recut. It definitely hadn't. And started <laughs> like handle this shit. I was just like talking it up like crazy. And then I was like, yeah, new diffs, new fucking wheels, new this, blah blah blah. None of that. It is. It's <laughs> practically all stock. It's all. It's all the exact same <laughs> stuff as when it was made. <laughs> Besides, I think the the steering rack, or not the rack, but like the steering box. That was the only thing that was like brand new on it, like yeah. as in like maybe two or three months before selling it. Yeah. So that was it. Still leaking though. <laughs> I never had power steering. Wow. Dude. I never <laughs> once had power steering in that car. Yeah. Um, what a car. And yeah, and I, I talked him up from fifty dollars to two hundred dollars. Right, nice. That was that. I'm gonna say that was a well earned hundred and fifty bucks. Four times my fucking. You know, and I, you know how, you know how much I spend on that? Three hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> like, it's so good. You, you know, because you actually spend one hundred and fifty dollars on it because you got two hundred bucks for it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you spent one hundred and fifty bucks on it to buy yeah. it, and you sold it yeah. for two hundred. Bull, you paid three fifty and then sold it for two hundred. That's that. Uh, yeah. What a car! That's man. not bad. 
That's not bad. That's much better than my experience with cars. My experience with cars is multiple cars breaking very shortly. Yeah. I've broken a lot of cars. Well, it, uh, wait. The MX-6. Mm. I think... I'm pretty sure you blew it up. <laughs> I think... I think. <laughs> it looked very so, much like my MX-6. I think it was. Yeah. Wait, did you like say it was a digital dash or a digital, analog dash? Digital dash. I think this one is your car. Yeah. I think was. that one. Didn't you so, blow it up? No, I didn't blow it up. I didn't blow Someone it up. Someone else did though, right? I think Pat might have blown it up. <laughs> <laughs> Good friend of the show, Pat Paddington. Good, yeah, Pat Paddington might have blown it up. So um, anyone that has been at 6CSR, which is probably like maybe two people listening right now. Um, Hopefully it, not. Everyone knows 20 EOD. Um, one of the uh, subunits... Uh, that like they just deal with explosives ordnance right nice. and disposal of and so they sort of learn how to blow things up and how to make them not blow up at the same time right mm. so they took a, you know they take cars out to like these ranges and then they just like either blow them up or stop them from blowing up right because mm. they want they need to learn sort of the effects of how explosives yeah, of in different areas do things right so um educational I remember purposes. <laughs> Exactly. Educational. It's, it's not just, oh my God. <laughs> so good. Um, Except I bet if you ask Pat, it is like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably it. Apparently, yeah. No, look, I won't even get into it. Um, yeah, no. So one, I think it was one week. Uh, this this might be like a year and a bit ago. Mm. I seen this white like car. It was just a white Mazda mm. sitting on, the, on a pallet. And I was like, oh, cool. They're probably going to go and blow that up soon. And you know, you just and, and like I love riding my pushy around the compound so yeah. I can like go to different places. Yeah, yeah. And then you know, riding back up and I'm like, oh shit, that's an MX6. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, that's a white MX6. And I was like, Blake used to have a white MX6. Yeah, it had the four wheel steered wheels yeah. on it too. Yeah. 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 There, there's not there wasn't many of them getting around. Yeah. And it, and I remember, I remember checking that it had four wheel steer because I was just looking under it and I was like, oh my god, it has all these fucking linkages and this Did it have a really shit. big cannon? Um, I, I couldn't tell you right now. Couldn't tell you right now. Um, I don't know, but I remember that it had like a noxiously big cannon, <laughs> dude. It was like something else, man. It was, yeah. it, it, I it think was it loud. was a five inch cannon, and it was yeah. a three inch cat back exhaust, oh, turbo back exhaust. Yeah, it was the dumbest thing I've ever owned. <laughs> But it was good. It, it was, was good. cool, except that it had yeah. um, it had a turbo leak, so it, it would cut boost. Like it, as soon as it went on boost, it cut boost, and I yeah. couldn't fix it. I just couldn't fix that. And it, it also was a turbo when you were on your P plates. Oh, look! <laughs> <laughs> but I no one. That's the thing. I is got no one over in it tell. multiple times, and I yeah. had cops thinking it was a fucking Honda Accord. <laughs> they didn't even know. They looked at it and they're yeah. like, "Was this a Honda?" I was like, "Yeah, oh, it's a Mazda," and they're like. It's a weird looking Mazda. Ooh, it's like strange looking thing. I was like, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> right, and, and then start turning the wheels. I'm like, oh, the rear wheels turn too. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. And I was just look like, at this weird shit. And then I turn it on, and it's like the loudest thing in the fucking world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it had like it had a blow off valve, <laughs> except that it could never hit boost, so you never heard it. So anyway. you'd never know. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah. Yeah, after I checked it, I like, you know, and I was like, oh, it's cool, it's still in peace, they're probably going to blow it up. And then I was like, I didn't think about it for a while, and I think I told you about it. Yeah, you did. And then the car wasn't there for a long time. And I was like, oh, fuck, they must have just taken it. Maybe they weren't going to blow it up. Is it back? It, it, it returned, like, a month or two later. Oh, right. Completely fucked up. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucked up up like just blown <laughs> to fucking shit That's like so the good. the whole roof of it was like on a side sort of shit it was all fucked up like the boot was broken open they had smashed open the side windows to like defuse something but they also blew up some other side of it um the the, the death it truly <laughs> deserved it was fucked man it it completely fucking man like, if if just blown up. The guy that I bought it from knew that's where it ended up. He'd fucking cry. He loved that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, yeah, I that's did not. too bad for him because it is fucked. He took my money for it. So that's his yeah. problem. I, I remember. So I, I remember people. asking one of the guys. Yeah. And they're like, they're like, yeah. Well, we did some like practice, like uh, just breaking windows to like check 
like for wires and shit like that. And they dip in, they go, oh yeah, cool, there's wires or there's sensors and stuff like that. Because they, I didn't know there's so much to do with EOD sort of stuff. Like there's like light sensors and touch sensors mm. that just set off bombs. Like light sensors for fuck's sake. Like these are the things for IEDs that fucking work. Yeah, so like they go in with a flashlight and then boom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and so you get this, you know, like the little uh, like stormwater drain sort of things. Like if you've ever seen over a driveway, they've got like the the, yeah. the circle fucking the, a pipe, you know? Yeah. And so they put them in there, it's all dark all the time, right? Put a flashlight, bang. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, hey man, war. War time's crazy. War never changes. <laughs> war um, never changes. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, no, they were like, yeah, no, we, we smashed up a couple of windows and we were checking for wires and shit. Because the whole scenario is, you know, they get the car, they make it look like it's fucking going to blow up or not look like it's going to blow up sort of thing. And then they come in and they go, oh, yeah, no, it looks kind of safe. And then they open up some things and they're like, oh, fuck, wires back up. Or, you yeah. know, they check for shit. Their whole deal is like, how often do I really have to put on this big fucking suit? Or can we just send the fucking robot? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, and, and more often than not, they're just like, send the fucking robot. I'm not dying today. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah. And so, you know, they um, eventually they just got sick of it and they're like, cool, let's blow the fucking thing. No. <laughs> they blew the car up. So, yeah, cargo boo now. Cargo um, boo now. Yeah. Cargo boo. Cargo, cargo boom boom. <laughs> Big boom booms. <laughs> no, no beep beep anymore. It goes boom uh, boom. <laughs> you know what also goes boom boom? Um, my heart when I'm. Uh, every time we touch, I get this feeling. What did we listen to this week? Actually, wait, before, before we get into the album of the week, okay. I want to hit you with da -da 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 fucking Taylor Swift news. That's right. Taylor Swift is on the cusp of becoming a billionaire. Now, some fans are debating if that's a good thing. No. Did you fucking know that? That's a lot of money. Uh, that's a lot of unnecessary money for one person to have. But I want How kid? <laughs> how kid? Yeah, I want a billion I want, dollars. I want to it's be too a much billion. for her, yeah. but not enough for me. All right? no, I, I want more than that. I want two billion. I want the world <laughs> in the palm of my hand. I want to be able to crush it if I just, if I flex a little too hard, you know? <laughs> A uh, fan on TikTok, TikTok asked, how can Taylor Swift being a billionaire possibly be unethical if all she does is sing and have concerts? Taylor Swift is the only billionaire, uh, billionaire who is allowed to exist, said another fan. Billionaires are literally wealth hoarders, replied another. Cause, um, no, because she's not. She doesn't have a billion dollars in the bank. That's not how being a billionaire works. Exactly. Yeah, she probably has assets or of like. Of course, she um, has assets. The, you're not uh, a billionaire uh, by owning. It's called when you just have things. You know what I mean? Your net wealth. Her net wealth yeah. will be a billion dollars, but her yeah. actual like fiscal wealth, her her, yeah. her fiat money in the bank. Yeah. It, she'll have probably a have she'll a couple hundred k. Oh, no, I reckon she'll have a few million. Millions. Yeah, I reckon yeah, she'll right. have a few mil, probably. And then the rest will be tied up in assets and, and, and investments, and she probably has stocks. Like, to get to a billion is not easy. I, I love the fact that the that Taylor Swift is on the cusp of, like, becoming a, a billionaire, right? And it's, and it's like, good honor, right? Yeah. She's, she's obviously uh, a, a businesswoman and an actress, singer, fucking whatever she does yeah. to get to this point, right? But the real problem is her fans thinking that, uh, well, she's gone too far now. Well, she can't be a billionaire because that separates her from us. She was just a working class girl. She's just from the sticks like me. No, she, but she's not. She's very much not. She's better than you. <laughs> <laughs> and she fucking knows I'm better. it. better. <laughs> <I'm> stronger. <laughs> Um, the this one dude Remington Stoddard. That's right. Look him up. Uh, thank you for this. She's extre uh, she's extremely achievement driven, and I admire that. But this would absolutely be too far. Like fuck you, Remington. Why? No one asked. That's like no like one Bezos. Asked. Like I get it. No like, I understand that no one should have that much money. I get it. But why? Really? Why be no one? <laughs> But why be angry at someone who does achieve it? Like, they, yeah. it's not like they fucking, unless you are born into it, right? Unless yeah. you are born into that kind of wealth. If you, yeah. for like, all these people started from nothing. 
Start from the bottom now, they're there. Like, right. think about it, like Bezos was like a fucking, a fucking skinny nerd. He was a skinny, skinny nerd, nerd that I would have fucking bullied, all right? Just like Jobs, <laughs> all right? I'm not a bully, that's a joke. I didn't bully. I got bullied, but anyway. <laughs> I'm I, too was nice a I like to think I was a bully. I was never a bully. No, you, you sort <laughs> I was of, a you nerd. Know what? You, yeah, you sort of just like stuck to yourself in high school. Yeah, I was pretty, yeah. Like I, when I think about it, I was just like, I'm like, I didn't like, I didn't really get bullied in high school, no. but like I didn't, and I didn't do any bullying, but I sort of just, I sort of just floated through high school. Just, yeah, I think we just hung out with the right people. Yeah, I just floated it was, it was through just for fun. the most part. <laughs> yeah, I just got drunk most of the time, to be honest. <laughs> One fan from Queensland mm. says, "Fuck him. She earned it. It didn't fall into her lap." See, right? It that's what you're saying. That's, that's that was saying. me. I said that just yeah. now. That's that's one fan <laughs> from Queensland. Uh, fans are strong word for me. <laughs> another another fan said, "That's what I said." <laughs> <laughs> Um, Another fan look. said, fans a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, look, yeah, no, look, it's... Um, Good on you, T-Swift. What, what, are you, what, what are your thoughts on this, people? Like, what do you, like really, do, do you care? Do you really, do you really care if someone else has a billion dollars? Like, you don't have a billion dollars. I don't have a billion dollars. But I'd love a billion dollars. Man, you're I'd dark now. I think your light's dark. <sighs> oh, dude, it is. Actually, so you know what I might do then. Uh, you know, well then that means we're we're on a time crisis. Remember oh, that man, game? That's such a good game, dude. Dude, I tried Danger. looking up the fucking the Danger. light gun. Danger. You know the light gun? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you got to reload and shit. Yeah. Reload. Yeah. Oh, oh dude. dude. Two hundred dollars if yeah, you want to get surprised. PlayStation Three uh, with the game Time Crisis Five or Six or something like that, mm. with the light gun. My um, cousin I had Time one. Crisis 2 with the light gun for PlayStation oh, 1. So good. Dude, it was the best. Danger. So good. We used to hide behind the couch. When like when we, <laughs> when we you hide, like when you yeah. duck, we used to hide behind the couch and then back up. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking cool, man. Anyway, talking about uh, music, Zach. Yes, all right, we're talking about music now. Um, Speaking cause, of Because we were, we were talking about music. We were. Zach, uh, this week, I listened to... <laughs> Kenny <laughs> Beats. Uh, you look quickly. You've listened to this a whole lot, and it's, I, I did. You yeah. can, you can. I'm sure you can easily tell me a lot about this album. I listened yeah. to this a fuckload this week. I don't know why. I just like. I just kept remembering to listen to it. Oh, it's good. I just really kept remembering, and I was listening to it at gym and stuff, and like at work because it's it's quite work. There's a couple songs there you're like, eh. but otherwise it's fairly work friendly. Right, mm. um, but I'll tell you what. This is my gripe with it. There's only one song on there that I could actually say that I knew. Every it was ju- it was like beats because that's what he yeah, is yeah. a beat maker. He's a beat maker. So it's an album of beats. It's an album yeah. of songs that could be placed. Yes, that's like that's it. I hate to say yes. it, but that's. And that's that's probably, exactly what it is, and that's, that's probably exactly what, what he was is. going for. Yeah, honestly, um, it's like a, it's like a, a, I wouldn't say a lo-fi album. It's just a little hip-hop album, but dude, without the actual say vocal. The amount of Adult Swim vibes I got from this album, um, yeah, dude, real, dude. The f- so so they say, right? Has the best drum beat. Uh, it's I love the tight little snare. Like it, yeah. that was like as soon as I heard that because it's like the third or fourth song in. I was like, "Oh, I'm I'm vibing to this. Like, this yeah. is a co- this is a good little beat." I even listened. I listened to it on the way home today, after talking to my boss, who was like, <laughs> "She's like, man, I don't know what you did." <laughs> She's like, "You you fucked something up." <laughs> I was like, "Tell me about it." It's like, Jesus. It's like today sucked. She's like, "Hopefully tomorrow's yeah. better for you." I was like, "I fucking hope so too." <laughs> um, but and she was like, "Put on some good music, go home." I was like. I yeah. will, and I put on. So they say. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this good. is gonna get me going. And then I drove home from there, and it's ah, oh, dude. I'm gonna. It's just ah, oh, dude. It's it's got such a nice little drum beat. It's so good. It's so good. Oh my god, my hand looked really small then for a second. It's like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like a small. Man. Hold, hold my strong hand. 
<laughs> oh shit! I was like, it was like just because it was like that. Like, That's a call really? to action to all you audio listeners out there to look at our video. <laughs> I did. I fully derailed that just because no, no, I, no, I, no, I no, like, no, looked at that and no, I was like, look, oh my God, I, my head's so small. <laughs> I think it's a really good album, but it's a bit boring mm. at the same time. Yeah, that's fair. It's, and, and like, this is this is an album, because when I, I know when I was listening to it, you can just put it on mm. and you can just do go whatever. about your day. Yeah, you yeah. just do whatever. Yep. Whereas like, I know there are definitely albums, like I would say uh, Iowa, by Slipknot yeah. obviously a whole different genre yeah. but like it's a thing of like it grabs your attention it makes you fucking listen to it mm. um, all of Louis is kind of like Background, you can you can you can fully sit there and listen to it right yeah. but I don't think you'll be you won't be thinking about I don't think you, I don't think it's stimulating enough because like I said it's more like beats it's, it's, it's more- meant to have some vocals on it like it's it's obviously yeah as you said meant for placement so that they can get some vocals that's what it feels and like. beef it up and and make it the attention grabbing songs that they're meant to be it's genuinely but, what it feels like but this is a this is just a, I think a sampler mm. like a tasting platter to be like this is what Kenny Beats is all about this is this is how Kenny Beats makes his money yeah. this is uh, for for all intents and purposes is what he does for a job so that he can make fucking uh, record deals with artists yep. and be oh, like, hey, look, we're going to make a song. Do you know you can album. buy a custom Louis cassette player and cassette tape? I, I didn't know that. It's, Why would that be a thing? It's a play, like it's a cassette tape player and then a tape of the album. Is it like a branded, like a Kenny Beats branded portable tape player yeah like, like a walk like a walkman yeah it's a walkman it's a tape walkman it's yeah, a thousand walkman dollars tape. <laughs> it's a discman a oh, discman right, was discman. the yeah sorry yeah, yeah. It's, walkman's yeah for tapes it says it looks like it's a fairly generic fm radio recorder let me uh, look at this fm radio recorder uh louis louis yeah uh, if I just type that in, surely it comes up with pitchfork. And I uh, won't, I won't Beats. lie. There's a sticker on it. <laughs> there is a sticker on it. It may actually just be a sticker on a cassette. I don't know if it's. <laughs> what is Maxwell a brand? Maxwell or Maxwell? Surely, maybe. Maxwell. Anyway, um, you can buy if you would like to um, split from a thousand USD. You, oh, plus a unique custom recorded message from Kenny. Oh, dude. Dude. Okay. It's pretty cool. Like, it would be a cool thing to have on display. You know what I mean? If if you couldn't find something better to buy with $1,000. Which I think... Okay, I, wait, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. What's the fucking price? 1000 USD. Fuck off. Yeah, exactly. Kenny... Oh wait, hold up. So, uh, well, this then this maybe this will change your mind. Maybe uh, per a press release, the album is an almost entirely instrumental artist record that acts as a deeply personal tribute to Beats, uh, Kenny Beats, ailing father who had been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Uh, so he learned about it in early twenty one. Uh, while he was in Bath, Somerset, England, producing Idols 2021 album Crawler. Right. Okay, cool. So... Okay. It's... I think he was trying to just raise some cash for... I for mean, you can, still, you can still buy them. You can still buy them. I don't think... Uh, I don't there think you go. So if you want to... You want to donate fucking a thousand dollars to fucking his dad's uh, pancreatic cancer treatment then you can oh, I'm, not, I, I'm assuming it goes to that it might I'm, just go straight into his fucking pocket I'm not gonna say that that's how it works but yeah yeah um, but this is what I didn't know <laughs> <coughs> all of the fucking personnel on all of the tracks as performers he's got obviously himself for all of the songs he's got um, JPEG Mafia oh uh, Fushi Vince Staples, Thundercat, Mac oh. DeMarco. Oh. Like, like, and these are performers for the songs. 
they perform in the songs. They go, he's like, hey man, I need you to fucking lay down some, I don't know, keys or some guitar or something like that. And there were some times when I was listening to it, I remember going, this sounds like a Mac DeMarco song. Yes. And and this sounds like a fucking a Thundercat song. This is, these are times, I think I told you when I was listening to that Mac Miller album, I was like, yeah. man, this, the bass guitar sounds like, like fucking Thundercat. That, you're like, that's Thundercat. Like, yeah. Like, I tell you right here, that's Thundercat. That's Thundercat. And yeah, and I remember listening to fucking the third thing, that third thing. And I was like, it's kind of like Thundercat right there. <laughs> turns out, it's Thundercat. It <laughs> turns out it is. So I didn't know that because I thought um, all of it was just done by him. Mm. By Kenny Beats, the man himself, Kenny. Whoa, Kenny. Kenny. Whoa, um, Kenny. G-Fung instrumental hip hop. There you Funnily go. Funnily so, enough, I, um, I have another playlist it. I'm listening to. That is yeah. like, I'll show you the playlist. It's it's a fairly aggressive playlist that I listen to at the gym now. Um, and there's a lot of Kenny Beats songs on there. Because <laughs> right. there's a lot of Ski Master Slump God. So, and he does a lot with Kenny, yeah. Kenny Beats. I think he's got like two of his biggest songs, like Kenny Beats songs. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. There you go. Um, look. I like, would rate it. I'd rate it like a rate? solid seven. It's good. I enjoyed yeah. it. But yeah. I, I don't think it does anything you know crazy yeah it doesn't grab attention enough it's not a i think um i think i'll probably still have so they say on like my playlist just because yep. it's it gives me the fucking biggest throwback vibes of adult swim mm. um but other than that yeah that's okay i there's a lot of other stuff that kenny beats has done that i'd prefer to listen to that's the thing is like you he's know, a producer you've got to sort of divide your time between you know what what do you listen to what do you spend your time listening to sort yeah. of thing so does this uh warrant you know however many minutes of your life you know what i mean I, i'm gonna i'm gonna put it as a as exactly what you said it's a seven it is yeah. it is as good as good as it is but it is not like you know you know how a seven is a good mm. five is just an average sort of thing like it's good yeah it's that's, good it's good that, that's all I can really say. It's good. Mm. It's not bad. No, it's definitely not bad. Yeah. It's but if great. you were to say six, you'd be like, oh, what's wrong with it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, six is like, oh, But six is still good. Six is still above average. Yeah, but six is a bit rough. <laughs> six is a bit rough, but it's yeah. not a six. It's a seven. It's a seven. I yeah. wouldn't call it a seven and a half. <laughs> 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 all right, Luke. Um, Blake, I know exactly what we're listening to next week. Yeah, I'm really excited to listen to it. We're listening to uh, Architects. Yes. Um, I know yes, there's going to be one are. one dude that's that's a, a solid fucking listener that will absolutely be fucking screaming at his phone right now going, hell yeah, we're listening to Architects. We're listening to their newest album, The Classic Symptoms of a Broken Spirit. Um, Which I think is actually a really good album sick. because there's a, lot yeah. of, there's a lot of songs that are really popular off of that album. And the architects yeah. have been around for a long time, man. They've made That's a lot it. of music. So yeah. if a lot of their top like songs currently on Spotify are from that out al- their latest album, it must be a fucking good album because there's been a lot. I tell you what, a lot of artists have released a, a new album and it don't hit. Yeah. You know, it don't it don't do well. <laughs> yeah. So no, yeah, I'm exactly. excited. We looked at we looked at a couple songs real quick. Um, you know, just as we do, just going through the guitar uh, tone, man, it sounds so good. I'm excited. I'm excited to listen to it. Yeah, but same. um, otherwise, I reckon I reckon we should probably wrap it up. It's getting Call late. It I'm pretty tired. I know, yeah. Ed. You're getting real dark. I'm fading away. Yeah, fading into the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um, um. All right. Well, then we'll uh we'll wrap it up right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys. Just, that's just where the episode ends it's just yeah hard <laughs> just, smash just. cut to uh, ad break um, <laughs> what ad guys <laughs> man if we had ads uh, one day thank you for listening yeah thanks you guys for listening are special to us on um, our extra hope, special episode yeah that's right our 89th episode <laughs> um, and you know what to do that means you've only got another uh, 11, 10 more to go 11 yeah 10 yeah 10 more this to go the, and then yeah. we're at 100 this is your 10 episode warning. Be there for episode 100 because, man, it's live and we're doing it together. 
It's live. All right. <laughs> it's not. I'm not going to do it live. Jesus Christ. No. Uh, we can't commit to that right now. No, we can't commit to that. We can't commit to doing it live. But I think we could be able to do it in the same room at least. I reckon we could probably G something up. We've got 10 episodes, which means 10 weeks to get yeah, this we can. I reckon we can G something up on a Saturday yep. or something. I thought, or you know, for the 100th episode, we better do something special. Yeah, we'll just, we'll get the lapel mics out. It'll be fun. Yeah. Do something right, a bit sweet. different. You know? Excellent. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm. Two let's diggy camera do it. angles. Let's diggy do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, guys, thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed listening to this, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, do all the buttons, do all the clicky things, hit those bells, notifications, bing, bing. Um, that, you know, do all those things. Do them all right now. Yeah. Um, um, send it share, to someone that share, you really yeah. fucking hate. Share it with, well, I was going to say friends and family, but okay. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you like listening to uh, Blake Bentley make sure you hit him up on Spotify and all of his social media accounts make sure you check him out on uh, YouTube TikTok and Instagram at the moment follow yeah. his weight loss journey it's a day 120 welcome to something. my journey <laughs> this is my journey <laughs> my journey, um, he's, my journey he's definitely lost a whole heap of weight swole. and he is fucking yeah I'm trying. he's, he's getting you. super strong it's getting I'm stupid trying, strong. man. I'm trying. Yeah. I, I deadlifted 150 kilos yesterday, so. Fuck, yes, let's go. Yeah. Hell yes. That was no belts. Uh, and I did have wrist straps, though. And my, yeah, my fucking yeah. hands hurt. <laughs> oh, you'll love it. You'll love it. I don't deadlift often, so. That's good, man. That's that's hell good. There I you go. I mean, go and watch the I video. Am... 150 kilo deadlift. There's a video? Well, next week there'll be a video oh god <laughs> of Blake lifting 150 kilos. Oh, we're going to um, the gym next Saturday. Yes, it is next Saturday, I believe. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Hold up, scanning. Oh, sheesh. Yeah. Yeah, the fourth. Yep. I need to make sure I'm clear for that. Yep. <laughs> so, all right cool thanks for um, watching everyone yeah. thanks for Which, being here with us on our extra special yeah. episode extra special um, episode uh, 10, 10 more episodes until episode 100 if yep. you want to see uh, more of me Zach, switchblades for kids make you sure do. you do you do you, you want to really see this do. you want to listen more of this um Make sure you check me out on uh, all of the social medias, which I definitely use. Um, and Twitch, oh, I'm not going to keep. <laughs> I'm not going to keep using Twitch. <laughs> we don't stream um, anymore. What are yeah, you, we what don't are you stream. About? Um, and yeah, check out uh, me on Spotify. Switchblades for kids, all one word. Um, and it, while you're at it, is it too uh, early to start talking about the fact that we're looking into making more video content? It's too early to start. I, I was, I was literally about to be like, hey, go and check out <gasps> uh, Cracked Scav. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Go and watch some uh, some some Escape from Tarkov content. Yeah, I can't. Um, I still can't. When you told me that you're like, look at the video. I was watching. I was like, like it was really good. And I was just like, did you make yeah. that? Is that like your mate or something? I thought that was like a friend of yours or oh, right, like a yeah. workmate, and you edited it for him or something. No, no, no you've just... created a new YouTube account called Crack yep. Scav. Yep. Where you're gonna upload Tarkov video. Yeah, stuff. And, and it's really easy. That was, you know how long that raid took? That was like a 20-something minute raid and I condensed it into a minute. It's very good. And it worked. It's very and, good. And it took me only four hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Please, that's don't long, believe it. That's a don't long believe. time. That's bud. Um, <laughs> bud. Uh, <laughs> bud. <laughs> Oh no! Um, uh, the process will become streamlined. Um, yeah, cracked scavs. Uh, Swiss plays for kids. Blake Bentley. The podcast. Make sure you hear uh, every week Thursdays. We release at nine o'clock a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Guys, thank you very much for being here. We will see you next Thursday. Yes, yes, we will. Yeah, we definitely. Right. Um, we yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate! <laughs>